Yes, there's a lot of either here or there or here or there. Now, hold on. So I'm going to start. I'm going to start with a story. I'm going to start with a story before we, we, we get there. 20, my wife tells me it's 2015. I always thought it was 2016. But 2015, um, I put myself up under a bit of stress. And then I wasn't getting enough rest and exercise too at the same time, both of them. So the body just was not reacting well. So I think one, one of the evenings I wasn't feeling too well. So my wife carried me along with my big sister and I was taken to a hospital in Takradi. Uh, I won't mention the name of the hospital. Now, I want you to, I'm, I'm giving a few details so that you understand my side of the story. And then maybe you can understand the medical people to their side of the story. And then you decide. So, and it's all about Fluffy. Hold on, I'll get to that part. So what happened was this. Um, I think we got there around, so I'm not exaggerating. We got there around say, 9.30 or 10 in the evening, 9.30-10 in the evening. I remember that because um, somebody was brought in shortly after I was taking the, the guy came at 11. Uh, he was on my left-hand side, two beds away. Uh, he died at 2 a.m. So I, I kind of remember that a bit well. So forget about that detail. It's not really important. So it, it was a night. So, um, hmm. I mean, I was asked a few questions about my general health. You are getting the same. And by morning, I, I saw a doctor, they prescribed something for me and I was immediately given some form of medication to take. And then they grounded me there for like two days before releasing me and then gave me medication, asked me to take it and then keep reporting myself from time to time. Now, I started developing I started developing some funny, funny symptoms here and there. One, one, you let me cut that part too out. So let's say I developed a few symptoms here and there over time. And I noticed something was, was, was not right. So I remember one day being bold enough to Google the, the medication I was given. I Googled it. I wanted to find out exactly what it was. And I noticed that one major element that I was told to take was a sulfur-based, please hang in there, you'll get the story very soon, was a sulfur-based medication. Sulfur as in the element sulfur, S-based med medication. And immediately I told myself that, but I know that I am. I have a medical condition called G6PD. Uh, we something, something, something about us. You are getting a thing. But I know for sure that sulfur is one of the things that we are not supposed to take. So things like brufin and stuff like that. I've known since I was in tech that I'm not supposed to touch brufin. And so I was like. Ah. By the people, why they won't kill me or something like that. <laughs> you get it? Because I'm talking about her uh, taking the thing for over six, getting to eight months of ingesting this thing on a daily basis. Can you imagine? So we scheduled some form of uh, a review or checkup with the doctor. I went over, I get a little emotional when I talk about this thing, like, forgive me. 
So we scheduled a, a check up with the doctor, and I told the doctor that. But why am I being given medication that contains sulfur? If I'm just a speedy, because you know that we are not supposed to be taking these things, and you guys are aware about these things. Uh, to cut a long story short, all they said was, Oh, sorry, I'm serious. And then, it, it, by by being a bit defensive, you know, to, you know, um, I don't know, I remember exactly who, but somebody who was part of the medical who team that was taking care of me said ah i also work with school and see what i'm gonna say with that then on board why don't you talk about it hey and all of a sudden it was like some blame shifting b was coming into the thing that hey uh i am old enough to know when i'm being given wrong medication then i said hey Simon. um so this was my resolve since that day I will not disrespect nurses or disrespect pharmacists. I will not disrespect <laughs> doctors. But I can't take your word for it anymore. Uh, when, 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 when I'm given something, I want to Google it myself. I want to find out. When I come and sit in front of you, I will not be quiet. I will talk. I will tell you that, hey, my guy, <laughs> I'm Jesus Speedy. I pray you're not giving me anything that will, will harm me. I'm not supposed to be on. I, and it will sound like, yes, you are being all over the place. You are being too known, as we say. We used to say in my primary school, you are getting a thing. That I got. <laughs> you are getting a thing. But it will save me from being a guinea pig. Sorry for the use of the, oh, the word pig came up. Oh, that's nice. It will save me from being a guinea pig and from you just telling me at the end of the day that, oh, I am sorry. If I learned any lesson from 2015, eh, is that at the end of the day, I ingested sulfur for a whole year because I refused to use my head so to speak. And I was just listening to instructions blindly and then just swallowing stuff because they said, hey, swallow this thing, swallow that thing. And at the end of the day, it took, I remember, it took more than two years or more to reverse what that wrong medication had done to me. And I was bitter, trust me. I was bitter <laughs> against... I mean, every time somebody tells me that they are going to that particular hospital, I frown because I felt that they didn't do well with me. But that's one sense. In another sense, too, I was just a bit too naive. You are getting anything. So that is my view about this whole fluffy issue. That I don't hold a view, but what the Bible says about it is what I do. So the next time. I go to a party or anything like that and I see Fluffy being served. I'll do what the Holy Spirit has asked me to do. And it will be one of two things. To get myself a plate or to not to get myself a plate. But as to exactly what I'll do, I leave you to guess. <laughs> so that's it for me for, for that side of it. I saw I saying something here. What is he saying? Knowledge, they say, is power. Search the scriptures daily. And speaking of uh, Bibles, we still have um, a couple of Bibles from from the from the Oil City. Uh, we still have a few of them. We got we got an extra set that came in just a bit late, even after Bible Society had given us some. We got extras from Pastor Joseph Jebby. So if you are in, you, you are in the tardy Erwin Kenomezin, but if you are in the tardy area and you you really need a Bible, please find a way to contact any person that knows me or knows a studio, come pick up a Bible. Don't even think of coming to pick it up to sell it. That one, you know. But if you really need a Bible, because it's a manual for life. <laughs>